want to find out what's going on in your community, El Observador is San Jose's bilingual weekly newspaper. Go to your local newsstand and pick up your free copy today. Looking for the skills and training you need to get a new career? Call CTC, the Center for Training and Careers, and start working towards that new career today. Call CTC in San Jose. Good evening. I'm Siwapili Rose Amador, and this is Native Voice TV Nightclub, except for it's daytime. But we have an audience. <laughs> and we don't have any drinks, but we have water. We don't have any alcohol. But today, our guest is a member of the Powwow Comedy Jam. You may have heard him on Sirius XM or seen him on the Showtime special, Going Native. From the Diné Nation, Mark Yaffe. Thank you. Oh, yes. Thank you, you guys. Yate, for my two spirited friends. Yate. It's good to be here. Mark Yaffe, yes, I am Diné. I'm from the Navajo Nation. A quarter Diné. I'm a duh. <laughs> quarter Bloods. We do not brag about that in Indian country, right? That's like saying you finish freshman year of college. <laughs> Quarter bloods, like, no respect, no respect. <laughs> I went to the power, I tried dancing, they said, sit down, our people have suffered enough. <laughs> <laughs> no respect. I went to the 49, they'd only serve me old duels. No respect. <laughs> I went to tribal health, I asked for a doctor, they gave me a Dr. Pepper. <laughs> <laughs> so as you know, Navajo Nation, one of the largest in the country, 200,000 Navajos, right? Eight last names. <laughs> Check out a Navajo phone book next time you're in Arizona or New Mexico. You, page 89, you will still be on the begays. <laughs> <laughs> we were driving through the res one time, listening to a high school basketball game. I was tripping out. It's like, begay, past Yazi, Yazi to begay, begay to Sosi, Sosi, blocked by Sosi. <laughs> <laughs> and not many people are aware of this. We have a, a, a res zoo on the Navajo Nation. If you go to our capital, Window Rock, Arizona, Navajo Nation Zoo. If you have an extra three minutes and 14 seconds, check that out. <laughs> Wow, yeah, two sheep, a wounded possum, and a bear on layaway. <laughs> One of the sheep has whooping coughs. Like, <laughs> yeah, they asked for a donation. I bought him a cat. <laughs> oh, no, it's, it's nice. I, I, get, uh, I get a lot of uh, cultural confusion, though, because I was not raised on the reservation, right? Four bloods try to bond with me all the time. Hey, Mark, uh, what's your clan? I'm like, uh, Wu-Tang Clan. <laughs> Right? Oh, so do you support AIM? I'm like, dude, I buy AIM, Crest, whatever's on sale. <laughs> That's right. Uh, so my, my, actually, my birth name is uh, Michael Anthony Dauber. Uh, you might know my parents, Red and Bingo. <laughs> yeah. Adopted out at birth by a Mexican mother and a Jewish father. I'm an adopt-a-ho. <laughs> yeah, Jewish father, Navajo son. I'm a bargain hunter-gatherer. <laughs> I'm illegal too, you cannot adopt an Indian child from their tribe, right? Indian Child Welfare Act. They pass that law to protect our people from Angelina Jolie. <laughs> yeah. People find out you even part native, even if you're not full, they just, oh, you're native, oh, oh, can you share some ancient tribal wisdom? <laughs> yeah, ancient tribal wisdom. Um, uh, uh, I've been through the desert on a horse with no name. Uh, don't stop believing. <laughs> Hold on to that feeling. <laughs> oh, you're Navajo. I bet your children have beautiful tribal names. I'm like, yeah, uh, little big mouth and grounded till Christmas. <laughs> yeah, we got parents. Parents, it's tough, huh? I got two daughters. I'm allergic to my kids. Every time I'm around them, I break out in debt. <laughs> Last week, one of them wanted to go to the zoo. I was broke. I took them to the res to look at strays. <laughs> Jeez. Now my oldest daughter is in college. She goes to St. Mary's College in the East Bay. Oh my goodness. $43,000 a year. I'm now old enough to be your dad and broke enough to be a roommate. <laughs> Serious, I'm broke. I went to a financial counselor. He referred me to the suicide hotline. <laughs> Visa called my house. Visa called my house. Hey, Mr. Yaffe, we haven't received your last payment. Like, sir, trust me. You've received my last payment. 
people all upset about recession. I go, what are you talking about? There's been a res session going on in Indian country for the last 175 years. <laughs> Join the right? Yeah. It's tough times. It is. It is tough times. Rock stars are joining their own tribute bands. <laughs> <laughs> Serious. And we got to economize now, right? I used to always get the nice cars and I'd rent cars and go out on the road. Not anymore. Boy, I got a smart car the other day. I never felt so stupid driving a smart car. <laughs> wow, you, get past, you drive a smart car in the Bay Area, you're getting passed by everybody. Right? Man, that car will go from zero to 60 on the back of a flatbed. <laughs> Jeez, now I got a smartphone. I got no business having a smartphone. This guy the other day is looking, he go, dude, is that a smartphone? I'm like, not when I'm holding it. <laughs> I call Verizon so much, I got downgraded to the GED plan. <laughs> I'm now rocking the Motorola Moron. <laughs> And if you have voice navigation on that thing, I always do that voice navigation. I'm always messing that up too. I was in the Southwest and doing these shows. I'm like, uh, Phoenix, Arizona. 18 hours later, I'm in Enid, Oklahoma. <laughs> yeah, we do a lot of traveling, man. We were in, the, in Arizona for July 4th weekend. That was 100 and holy crap in Arizona. <laughs> My rental car came with oven gloves. <laughs> I'm pretty sure their state birds are roast turkey. <laughs> Did a lot of traveling this summer. We got to go to the Wisconsin. We were on the great Ho-Chunk Nation. I was a, a, uh, did a show for the Ho-Chunk folks. I'm now an honorary Ho-Chunk because I lost a whole chunk of money. <laughs> <laughs> Man, they had this little Vietnamese blackjack dealer there. Her name was uh, Soon You Lose. <laughs> and I did. <laughs> a, lot of, a lot of casinos now are featuring uh, celebrity slot machines. I don't know if you've seen this. They actually have a Jeff Foxworthy slot machine. Right? They have a Clint Eastwood slot machine. They need a Dr. Phil slot machine. Every time you lose, you'd be like, what were you thinking? <laughs> Even if you win, like, you still got a problem. <laughs> but if I ever quit comedy, I'm going to go work a, for a, a tribal casino. I'm going to be in charge of the giveaways. I'll be messing with people. Hey, congratulations. Bob Kincaid, here's the keys to your new 2012 Lexus convertible. Unfortunately, Bob, you're wondering our Indian Giver Days promotion. <laughs> Casinos, that's crazy. We do. I, I, I moved to Nevada. A lot of casinos in Nevada. I moved to Reno, Nevada, which proves one thing: you're never too old to keep making bad decisions. <laughs> wow, Reno's like Vegas got punked. <laughs> man, we get the knockoff Vegas shows. They have Blue Man Group. Group. We got White Powder Women. <laughs> They've got Oh, we've got Oh No. <laughs> I called Reno 911 to report a vehicle on fire. The real Reno 911. I called them to report a vehicle on fire. They wanted a make and description. Uh, right now, the car is a bright orange. <laughs> By the time you get a clue, it should be charcoal gray. <laughs> so it's nice to be back in California. I know that California's having some financial difficulties, right? State of California is $15 billion with the B in debt. Your state bird is now a buzzard. 911 is now a 900 number. <laughs> I didn't realize how bad it was till I was driving through Sacramento. I got stopped by the Highway Patrol. I wasn't even speeding. He just wanted $20 for gas. <laughs> yeah. but it's fun. It's a good job, man. But being, a, being a comedian is a lot like being a native. In the 1800s, we signed a lot of crappy contracts and get sent places we never wanted to go. <laughs> man, we were in Montana. Except for a few tribes we have up there, Montana is the whitest state in the country. Mm -hmm. Montana was so white, we didn't even see a black bear. <laughs> you see a black guy in Montana, you take a picture. It's like a Sasquatch sighting. Like, <laughs> I was a black dude. You get a picture? No, that's blurry. They won't believe us. Hold on. We got proof of life right there. Size 12, Air Jordan. Get that right now. <laughs> wow. Everybody in Montana is drunk. Everybody's pissed. Everybody's armed. It's like Texas with snow. <laughs> Texas, crazy. They tried to Texas. Tried to slip another governor in us as president this year. The guy by the name of Rick Perry, Governor Yosemite Sam. <laughs> he got on those Republican debates. He was looking all presidential. Then he opened his mouth. Even George Bush was like, geez, this guy needs to learn to enunciate. <laughs> Man, listen, I know we're all, we've all had enough of the election. I just, we want it to be over. I just, you know, I didn't. The candidates have been fighting it out, and, and the biggest scandal this year in the presidential election year has not even been the candidates. It's the people guarding the candidates, the Secret Service. 
busted down there in Columbia. Secret Service, I'm like, sir, learn the title of your job, learn to keep a secret. <laughs> they got in trouble for arguing with the hookers over the high cost of their bill. I'm thinking, finally, a government employee exercising some fiscal responsibility. <laughs> they busted eight of those Secret Service agents. The next day, Bill Clinton was on the phone. I want those guys in my advance team pronto. <laughs> Fire up my plane. We're taking a fact-finding mission to Columbia. <laughs> Sorry, Haiti. <laughs> President uh, Clinton was down in, in Colombia, or President Obama was down in Colombia, had a big trade summit. All the countries are pressuring the United States to start trade with Cuba. I'm like, what does Cuba have that we need? I'm like, sugar cane and cigars. I don't think we need any more diabetes or cancer, <laughs> right? Here's the trade I want to see with Cuba. We get three left-handed pitchers, they get Rosie O'Donnell and the Jonas Brothers. <laughs> <laughs> hey, while you're at it, throwing Justin Bieber's Night of an American, get a little Canadian Muppet butt out of here. <laughs> Yeah, I can believe that. But uh, President Obama, you know, he's our first native president. He is. Yes, think about it. Raised around indigenous people. Loves basketball. Lives in government housing. And he's trying to be re relocated by angry white people. <laughs> yeah. Someday, though, we are going to get a real native president. Yeah, that'll be, that'll be awesome, won't it, right? <laughs> yeah, the White House will become the, the Long House. <laughs> The Rose Garden will become the Corn Garden. <laughs> All the state dinners will be potlucks. <laughs> and every weekend, basketball tournaments in the White House gym. <laughs> yeah, 2012, it is historic though. 2012, we are in historic times, you guys, huh? An African American and a Mormon American campaigning for the White House and Bernie, Bernie Madoff locked up in the big house. Four million Americans <laughs> lost their house. No one saw this one coming. The Europeans took the land from the Indians so it could be landscaped by the Mexicans and foreclosed on by the Chinese. <laughs> if this keeps up, Indians are getting Manhattan back for $24. <laughs> we'll make it into a reality show. We'll call it the Taking Back Manhattan Project. <laughs> right? We'll put powwows in Central Park, <laughs> casinos in all the subways, and replace Indian cab drivers with Indian cab drivers. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing in my cab? <laughs> Yeah, it's, uh, it's fun, though. I like this job, though. It's, uh, it's got its moments. We, we can't complain. We go places, though, people have not seen natives. It's amazing in this day and age. And I find out, you know, I find out the back is Europeans love Native American culture. You talk to European people. We met these Italian people at a powwow recently. goes, we love the Native culture. We love the powwow. We love the grass dance. But the most of all, we love the 49. <laughs> So we go, yeah, we go to Nebraska. We're doing a show in Lincoln, Nebraska, University of Nebraska, and housekeeping, and never evidently met a native, the lady who was working. She wanted to bond with us. The housekeeping staff wanted to bond with us. Came knocking on the door, 6.30 in the morning. No, it's just, you know, I, I, like to, I like things that are going well. In the native country, people are economically, we're advancing. Our people are coming together, getting educated. But health, we got to work on the health, right? Because there's, there's health issues going on and, and diabetes and, and, other, and other medical issues. And, and even, even our Sesame Street characters are having some illness issues, right? Yes, uh, Big Bird's got the swine flu. And <laughs> Big Bird's got the bird flu. Miss Piggy's got the swine flu. <laughs> Oscar the Grouch, Manic Depressive, <laughs> and the Cookie Monster, Insulin Diabetic. <laughs> the government's not helping. The government keeps trying to recall food items and stuff for our protection. You realize they recalled parsley two months ago. Bad parsley, recalled. Last year was bad spinach. The year before that, bad tomatoes. 150 years of bad commodity cheese, not one block recalled yet. <laughs> hey, you guys, thanks a lot. I'm Mark Yaffe. Yeah, hey, hey. Great studio audience, Aren't and what they? are you watching? <laughs> I, want to know, I want to know what the audience is watching. You're watching. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, <laughs>
Well, we've been practicing that. We'll get it down eventually. Hi, Mark. How Most are of them got you? it. They, they did. They've been yeah. working on it. <laughs> How are you? I'm great. It's good to be back. Well, it's great to have you back. You've been traveling all over the world. It's been a couple years since I've seen you. Yeah, I went over to uh, we went over to Japan. We did some shows in Iraq right before they pulled the the troops out. So and it's been a it's been a lot of a lot of miles on the road and a lot of frequent flyer. Yeah, and you cut your hair when you went over there, right? Yeah, it was yeah, about it was about your length right there. Yeah. And I got on a flatbed on there and uh, hit Iraq. And there was a Marine base, and and, the, and my buddy uh, had one clippers, and then the sergeant had the other set of clippers. I said they told jokes. And just, Couldn't you just there. wear a thing on your head? But I didn't realize, you know, it's like 130 <laughs> degrees in Iraq, and I didn't have any sunscreen. So, you, you know, if you're used to hair, uh, man, my head was uh, popping up like Jiffy Pop after that thing. <laughs> <laughs> you can't run to the Fallujah Foot Locker to get a baseball cap, right? Oh, that's true, huh? Well, how long have you been doing comedy? I'm in year 14 of the 50-year plan. 14, yeah. Yeah. wow. Yeah. But what, what got you into it? Were you the kind that made all kinds of trouble in school and got in trouble for telling jokes no, in class No, and never, no, never. I can't believe that. Fourth grade, <laughs> I did my first skit in fourth grade. I did an All in the Family skit, so I'm kind of dating myself, you know, from back in the 1900s. Uh -huh. And I just, I always liked to laugh, and I always had a really fun group of friends. And then uh, I, I didn't even think about pursuing comedy until I was in my 30s. I started teaching traffic school, and people were like, you're funny, you need to go take, you know, go do comedy. I went to a comedy club to look for instructors. I met uh -huh. a teacher who was doing a class. I took his class. He liked me. He took me on the road. And wow, the rest doing is it. history. The huh? rest is history, as they say. And of course, you know, many thanks to you. You helped me uh, make some real good connections. Rose helped me get on uh, Showtime because she's. I was uh, in the audience. She has friends in high places, <laughs> so she's a good friend of Scott Montoya, also from yes, San Jose, yes, right? Good old and the Scott, local boy made yeah. good. He did. And uh, he was a producer, and he put together. Uh, uh, the Going Native Showtime special, which is historic. Seven Native Americans on TV at one time not getting that, shot at. It was and historic. And if you haven't seen it, it's, yes. It's fantastic. Yeah. Everyone should have a copy of show t that Showtime special. The St um, Yeah, still available at lolcomedy.tv if they want to buy it. Yeah, yeah. that's Christmas is coming. One. There you go. Christmas is coming. Thank and you, you have plug. a couple CDs out? I do. I have uh, um, Powell Comedy Jam, the, the group I tour with, uh, Howie Miller, uh, Paul Bancri, and Von Eagle Bear, Lakota, and they're all and very funny. Yeah, Just the three of us two are also separate. Now you're the funniest, but oh, thank they're you. all funny. You're biased. <laughs> I like that. So uh, we actually have a, a CD we recorded up in Worley, Idaho, at Coeur d'Alene Casino. Oh, it's really? Called Phase Three, and then uh, we're we'll start working on another another project soon. We're going to do another DVD, so well, yeah. hopefully that'll be out in 2013. And how can someone get a copy of your you know order your CD? Um, they can go to jokesignals.com. Okay. And uh, you can just order right there. And so did you, you do trip. some of your shows over in Reno or? Yeah, I live in Reno now. Actually, I, I have a, a, a Friday night show that's going on to the end of November, uh, which is called Tall, Dark, and Hilarious. I have a Hawaiian friend of mine. So we do, ah, we do some stand up, we do some music, and some really? improv. Really? What kind of music? Yeah. Some parody songs. Yeah. I'll break out a little prince when you come up there. So yeah. you sing, huh? Well, that's yeah. what they say. Yeah, yeah. That's, a, oh, that's, that's a loose good. interpretation. I haven't heard you sing yet. I know. Next time. Next I'll bring, time. I'll bring, yeah. Oh, the audience wants you. Can't you just like a little jingle or something? <laughs> <laughs> well, no. I always because I joke about the the, the navigation systems uh -huh. on the phone and how they you can put the different voices in there. Right. I said we should have like old school R and B singers and they can sing to us when they made a mistake. Like you have Prince on your your uh, your GPS and be like, I didn't mean to cause you any sorrow. <laughs> I didn't mean to make you miss your plane. <laughs> I only wanted to get you through the traffic. I only wanted to see you driving in the carpool lane. <laughs> oh, cute. Yeah, I've always wondered about the GPS. You know, sometimes I actually argue with them. I mean, not by myself in the car. Yeah. <laughs> no, I know it's the other way, and then I, I say, okay, I'm not going to yeah. listen to it. I go that way, and I'm always wrong. <laughs> we need res GPS. You go to Grandma's Hogan and make a right. <laughs> Then go up there, past those two broke down cars. I'll be right up there. And that works, you know. If yeah. you get landmarks, you can find your way. It's just that when they tell you to find the street, and by the time you see the street, you know, it's past Too it, late. and you're lost. But if they told you to look for the barn or something, well, we'd you, find it. Well, you guys are in the Bay. I'm always getting confused because the Bay Area, you got like the 280, the 680, the 780, the 880. All I know is I got lapped on the way over today. <laughs> <laughs> but you're here. Made it. Giants territory. What Congratulations. Do you think of the, yeah, uh, what do you yeah, think of the San that. Francisco yeah. Giants? <laughs> Man. World they, Series champs. That is a su super coming. Yeah, do you think what they went through in the playoffs to just, in Detroit? Everyone's, oh, Detroit, no problem. No I problem. know. Yeah, 
that, but really got something. the best team in baseball, best manager in baseball, and the best fans in baseball. That's true, yeah. Mm -hmm. Woo. I was gonna wear my jersey, I thought, oh, maybe not. <laughs> well, you could have covered Halloween and I know, Giants I know. at the same time. Yeah, that would have worked, but uh, that's okay. There, They did a great job, and I was really thrilled. <laughs> Yeah, giants, exciting. giants, giants. So where's your next big tour or where are you um, heading? Vaughn and Howie and I at Powell Comedy Jam will be, at, we're going to be at Klamath Falls at the Raglan Theater on Thursday, November 15th. And then Friday, no, November 16th, we'll be at Wind River Casino up in Reading. Oh, okay. So, yeah, but you're yeah. on the road quite a bit then, huh? Trying to keep busy, you know. With that navigator. Kids in college, you, yeah. 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 You have a daughter in college that's nearby? Two. Yeah, one at Sacramento State. And one at St. Mary's. So I told him it's very important. You're going to college. You learn a very important sentence when you graduate. Be, Welcome to Starbucks. <laughs> <laughs> well, what if they become comedian? Well, you have one that's going to be an actress. Or one one is a is a, a, a modern. She does modern dance. So she's she just auditioned. She's auditioning for the cruise ships. And the other one's a jazz guitarist. Oh wow! So yeah, they just keep, they just. I guess they inherited the entertainment bug. I guess so, so huh? No one wants to get a real job in my family. <laughs> So how was that Showtime experience? Oh, it was awesome. And we had uh, about, uh, man, there was probably 400 native folks that's packed in that theater. And the producers were all nervous that week because they didn't, oh, we know no one's calling for tickets in advance. Said, be in, they'll be here. Don't worry. They're not going to RSVP. They're yeah. just going to show gonna up. They're going to show up. <laughs> they just lined up out there. And it was just, uh, it was great, great night. Everyone had a great set. And the crowd was very responsive. And uh, it was one of, those, one of those things you always remember, you know, just, you know, just a lifetime yeah, Memories, I had so. so many people calling and saying, I saw you laughing on that show. Yeah, you got <laughs> a lot they, of good face but, time. Yeah, but people kept saying, you know, when are they going to sell it? When are they going to sell it? Because they really got to, mm -hmm. you know. No, it is. Yeah, so it is out on lol.comedy.tv. Or it's lolcomedy.tv. You should get that right. Yeah. And uh, if you're at one of my shows, you can buy it in person. But it's just internet, lolcomedy.tv. So. Did you bring some? Oh, never mind. <laughs> we'll, we'll talk about that I'll later. I'll have to put that one in the mail. I'll okay, to... okay. <laughs> but no, I thought really you nice. had a copy by now. I didn't get you a copy last yes, night. Yes, yeah, you did. You did. Uh oh, All right, we'll have to edit that out for this now. <laughs> <laughs> it's really good to have you here. Uh, it's, it's, Always good uh, to come back. We saw you at the uh, Indian Health Centers event. Mm -hmm. They have you, I think they've had you for that the last a, three or four years That now? was a sixth annual, I think, now. Fifth, or, fifth, fifth annual. Right. right. And that's where I first, why I, I first met you in Albuquerque, I think. Gathering of Nations. Jeez, yes, yeah. Gathering of Nations. We've known each other for a while now. Yeah, yeah. And I, and I ran home and told Scott, my friend Scott, my friend Scott, we all know Scott Montoya. He used to live here in San Jose. Now he's a big comedy producer down in Hollywood. Mm -hmm. Um, but I, I told Scott, I said, oh, you got it. This guy just kills. You got to have him on. And he goes, yeah, I think I'm going to put together a native comedy show. I said, it's about time. Yeah. You know? See, it's good to have friends in high places. Thank oh, yeah. <laughs> as long as I can be in the audience, I'll be That's happy. Right. <laughs> You'll be there for the next one. We want to do the Taking Back Manhattan tour. We're oh, doing. yeah. We'd like to, I want to shoot a special in Central Park. It's my... My dream. Not right now. They got a little weather problems, but you know. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't go out. right now because yeah. everything's going to blow away anyhow. Yeah. Just wait till it gets repositioned and settles yeah. down. I, I wouldn't even a plane ticket. I just flying on a parachute, para paraglider. <laughs> well, it's a pleasure to have you here again. We really you. enjoy your work, your show, and um, we'll follow you on Showtime. And what, what's up with the serious thing? My Tell website, me. laughwithmark.com. They can okay. always look up the website. Yeah. Got that audience? Yeah. Laugh with Mark. It's Mark with the C. Com. Can you say that? <laughs> Laugh with Mark dot com. We got it. <laughs> yeah. But um, no, the serious thing. Serious Oh, serious XM? XM? Yeah. I'm on there. I, I don't know. I say if you, you tune in on, uh, I think I'm on the Raw Dog channel, and I think I'll be on Blue Collar pretty soon. I just did the Ventura Comedy Festival, and I was fortunate enough I won that. And so they're going to put oh, my. really? Yeah, they had a comedy contest, so that I think I'll be on Blue Collar next, so. Blue collar. And how do how do you rank in uh, blue collar? It's just because it's a, cleaner, working class coming. Yeah, there's, we need a. Because they don't have a feather collar. No, uh, we need the, a joker. <laughs> yeah, no, need our not. own, huh? Yeah, sometime we're gonna we're working on it too. We're gonna put the seat out. Yeah, so. Yeah, well, we should. Least, we have least. our local TV station, TV program. We need a TV station. That's what we need. And non-natives love native comedy too. We're just you know we're we're really fortunate. There's Indian country so supportive of us, but we'll go do casinos and. Vegas or other shows. Oh, I didn't realize you Indian people are so funny. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you really have a sense yeah. of humor. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, and most Indian people do. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. And I know before the show, our audience, uh, I won't mention names, but our, our audience, they all wanted to do uh -huh. the stand-up comedy, yeah. and they were willing to fill in for you. But, uh. That's right. <laughs>
No, it was awesome. A good crowd, always good times coming here. Thank you for having me and continued well, success with the show. You know, even. Well, you know, it's eight years. Can you believe it? Eight years. So you yeah. were on at the, almost the very beginning. Wow. Yeah, we were at the other studio. Yep. And um, here we are. Still doing it. And Still doing it. Oh, it hi, hey, what do you like? Have you like our little uh, cafe table here? Our little soda shop? I know, I feel shop? like we're at, we're at the malt shop. We yeah. were trying to make it look like a little nightclub, but it we is, figured, right, okay, yeah. a little soda shop with water. And <laughs> we Clean can and sober. We yes, can pre right. yes, we can pretend Red Road here. Mm -hmm. There you go. So, but we're really happy to have you here. And our audience, what do you have to say? <laughs> Can we show our audience because they've been so great and and they know how to say? You're watching Native Voice TV. Yay! <laughs> there, now we got it right. <laughs> but thank you, audience, for being here. And thank you at home, wherever the camera over what? Oh, hi. <laughs> wherever you are. Uh, thank you at home for watching Native Voice TV. We really appreciate your support. And don't forget to go on Facebook and like us on Facebook. You can like us here, but we want you to like us on Facebook. You know, give us that little click because it makes us look really popular. <laughs> so we want you to like us. So please like us on Facebook. We are on a new time slot, which is on Sundays at 6.30, Channel 15. And we will see you next week here on Native Voice TV. So the audience is watching you on Native Voice TV. Good night. <laughs> Thanks for being here, Mom.